Let's take a look at how to insert and work with images in Google Docs. First, there is more than one way to insert an image. One option is to select the Insert menu and then select Image, and a list of options will be given. An alternative is to select the image icon from the toolbar, and the same list of options is given. So let's go through them. The first option is Upload from Computer. Now, that's a standard process that you're used to with other tools that you've used before. The exact process can vary by device, so we will not get into specifics with that one, but do know that it is there as an option. The next option below is Search the Web. A side panel opens that says Search in Google Images. Type in a search term in the search box at the top. In this case, I am looking for a tree. From the options given, simply click on an image and then click Insert at the bottom. Note, be careful because wherever your cursor is, is where your image is about to go. And there you go. We'll come back to editing and formatting images, so hold tight on that. Let's go back to the toolbar, select the Insert Image icon, this time select Drive. You can search and select the image you are looking for. You can select insert along the bottom to insert the image, but another option is to drag and drop the image. As you do this, notice that behind the image, you see the blue cursor is moving. That indicates where the image will be dropped. When it's in position, let go, and there you have it, an image added from your Google Drive. Back to the toolbar, let's select the insert image icon again. The next option is Photos, as in Google Photos. If your images are in Google Photos instead of Google Drive, you're going to want to select this option. The same process applies as it did for Google Drive. The next option for inserting an image is by URL. This option is available, but not commonly used. When selected, a window appears where you can paste in a link. It's extremely important that you only select images that you have the license to use and not just anything you found online. Now back to the toolbar again, select the insert image icon, and let's look at the last option, camera. Depending on your device, you may need to allow or adjust settings for this to work. Use the camera icon to take a picture. Great. Now, Pick any option and get at least one image added to your document. Let's take a look at formatting images in your document. When you click on an image, it is surrounded by blue squares. Click and drag a square to resize the image. One of these is not like the other. It's a circle. The circle allows you to rotate your image. When you click on an image, you have other icons down along the bottom. These allow you to adjust the position or relationship that the image has with text. Your options are inline, wrap text, break text, behind text, and in front of text. The three dot menu reveals additional options. Notice one of which is all image options. When selecting all image options, a side panel opens. Notice the first two, size and rotation, and the one below that, text wrapping, are more advanced settings from the ones that we just looked at with the blue squares and the icons below the image. So use these as needed. Position is the next category, but it can be grayed out when inline is selected. When selecting one of the other four options, not only does position appear in this menu on the right hand side, notice the options such as margin and movement appear on that mini image toolbar. So adjust these settings from either location as needed. Next up is an option to recolor. Select a color from the drop down menu, and below this is adjustments, which is also editing the image appearance. Finally, at the bottom is alt text. Add a short description for those that are visually impaired and rely on screen readers, making your document accessible and ADA compliant. Now, before you pack up, we're not done. That's right, there is so much more. So click on the image and notice the toolbar along the top changes. First, the image options is the side panel that was open before. Replace image is just that, with the same insert image options that we explored before. 
in Google Docs, you also can add or adjust border color, the border weight, and border dash, which just means border style. Looking good. Now, don't bypass the tool in the middle, crop image. Another way to access this is by double clicking on an image. Use the black lines that appear to crop the image to the size that is needed. This doesn't distort the image, it just crops it. Great job, and that's it for inserting and formatting images in Google Docs. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.